And greetings, I am Resplendent Seraph, and today, well tonight rather, we are going to be continuing our playthrough of East Book 1 and 2, specifically Book 2. Uh, and as we're waiting for people to kind of file in here, uh, I want to welcome everybody. I hope you all had a great weekend on this lovely Sunday evening. Uh, wow, we got a nice little lens flare effect. Um, let me Let me close my window here. I didn't realize the sunset was... Beaming completely straight through. Uh, that's a little better. Um, yeah, this isn't, uh, I I'm not broadcasting from J.J. Abrams' basement. Uh, <laughs> was it Was it until I turned it on that I was like, wow, that's, uh, that's pretty bright. Uh, oh, and real quick here. Turn on that light. There we go. Perfect. Get also a little mood, mood lighting going. That's a sneeze. Of course, we're going to do all this now. Excuse me, sorry about that. Okay, now then, without any further ado between sneezes and the fucking sun, let's get uh, into the brass tacks of this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up the weekend here, playing some East Book One and Two. And this is a game that I played again. I, I probably have said this, but just since it's the intro, and in case you haven't seen this before, or you're jumping in at this point. Uh, this is a game I haven't played in literally thirty years, uh, giving away my age a little bit, and. So I would say the last time I played this was somewhere around 92, 93, uh, maybe 94. So again, doing some quick math, it's like 30 years. And um, so far, it the game is as fun as I remember it being. Uh, the bump system's a little awkward, but I remembered it being awkward even from then. But graphically, sound-wise, especially sound-wise, everything still holds up, uh, you know, over time. Whenever you're dealing with any kind of retro game, you're obviously dealing with you're just dealing with the technical technical limitations of the time. But all things considered, I would consider this a game that has aged very, very well. Uh, also, before we get playing, uh, do a quick channel update. <laughs> the uh, graphics card in my streaming rig here, uh, it's really not a streaming rig, it's really a research rig, but um, since it's capable of research, it was like, well, I do play games, why don't I stream? And so that's kind of what started off the hobby streaming part of it. So yeah, my graphics card is actually in the process, in the very early stages of dying. So far, it seems to handle emulation pretty well, so I don't anticipate any issues, but... Just throwing that out there, uh, <laughs> I am dealing with that, so hopefully that doesn't come back to uh, come to bite us today. And my new my new replacement card comes in on Wednesday, and I may end up streaming uh, the process of getting that prepped and ready, but um, I I probably won't. But there's a possibility I do. If there's a demand for that, I, I may do that just so I can uh, just so I can chat with people on Twitch while I'm fiddling around with the new card. So that's the main update. Let's get this show on the road. Let's switch to our in-game and let's get rolling. So as we get this fired up here, hopefully I didn't run it twice. Yep, I did run it twice. Him. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, good. Let's launch and let us begin. Mad because I ran multiple instances of it. Not registering my controller here, real quick. Give me two seconds. Let's try that again. Why are you not registering? Hmm. Plug gamepad controller. Plug you back in. If not, I'll just reconfigure the controller real quick. Okay, I apparently have to reconfigure the controller. Why I have to do that, I'm not really sure. Let's just switch you back to just chatting while I figure that out. That's really annoying. Systems, for graphics, input, port one. Why are you... Huh, yeah, all my control button controllers got reset. That's unusual, but this won't take long. I just need to reconfigure it. Right. 
Uh, button one, I want to say is that. Not sure how that gets all cleared out, but. Guess what we'll do is we'll do uh, select, let's get the select button. Mode will keep the same. Button five will do that. And button six, not that it really matters, but that could do that. Okay, so that's all configured. That's very strange. I don't know how that got cleared out unless it's just a fluke of running it twice. Hey, Darkstar, how are you, buddy? How are you, buddy, rather? if it, It'd be nice if I could English. Um, so yeah, I had to reconfigure my, my inputs here for the, uh, for the controller. But now that we've done that, let's try this again in game. Perfect. And I'll just edit that part out when I put this on YouTube. There it goes. Now it's actually working. <laughs> Nothing like fiddling with the fucking thing for like six minutes. But long time no speak, Darkstar. It's been all of like, what, 20 minutes? <laughs> Yeah, first in chat. Ah, excellent. I do love this game, though. It, every time I hear that opening intro, it still sends chills right, right up my spine. So yes, in the event that I do edit out that entire button controlling thing, I am Resplendent Seraph, and we are playing Eastbook 1 and 2. <laughs> I'm just going to skip past that part. So yeah, we're playing, uh, we're playing a game I haven't played in 30 years. Super fun. Oh, I probably shouldn't have fast forwarded past the anime, the anime intro there. Eh, that was rookie mistake. I'll keep it on for the next time. <laughs> so I did have to alter the button, uh, buttons on the controller. Oh, this is also a good point to, good time to point out. I did play this off stream for a little bit of one, one for two reasons. The first and most important Morgan Freeman. The truth is he won't bother to edit that part. <laughs> that is, that is so true. So the last time I remembered, I, I, I meant to do that. I actually did edit that, but all of the other times I basically have it. So statistically speaking, Morgan Freeman's totally right. And, uh, I'm going to get a, I am on YouTube and be like, Hey, you totally said you were going to edit like the first, uh, 12 minutes of that out, but they're there while you're fiddling around altering button configurations. They're going to go, oh, motherfucker. But uh, <laughs> be that as it may, this is a good point to mention that I did play this off stream for two reasons. First and foremost, well, the important one we'll get to in a second. The second most important one, uh, I wanted to farm a little bit for XP. And so now we are level 46 instead of level 42. Really not that big a deal, but um, we're now maxed out on money. The game literally won't give us any more money. That's what we call behind the scenes bonus footage. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to roll with that. Yeah, yeah, we're going to we're just going to do the bonus footage first and then the rest of the clip and then the rest of the video. That's that's how we roll here. <laughs> I'm responded serves channel. All right, strive not to be too professional. Uh, so, yes, I spared you guys the 40 minutes ish of farming. XP. I've had a slight fever. Right. We know Lilia's got a fever. She hasn't told her mom about it. But lo and behold, when we go to see her mom, she knows all too well about uh, Lilia's condition and tells us right now, if you see Dr. Flair, be sure to give him the letter, which we already have. Um, by the way, Lilia doesn't know about her illness. Yeah, I hate to break it to both of you, but uh, she knows she's sick and you know she's sick. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I can't help her. Blooper real forward programming for the win. Yes. Only I could do things in that kind of reverse fucking order. Jira's house seems haunted. It is. We got a lot of XP and gold out of that. The goons have spread their evil aura again. Yes, they have. Oh, and uh, also I did buy uh, a better sword, a better shield. And unfortunately, they didn't have armor to buy. I think I need the armor ore for that. If you see Dr. Flair, <laughs> woo! <laughs> yeah, no shit. And you know what? This is period appropriate because Ric Flair was popular in the 80s. So they would totally, uh, that joke would totally work. Do I already have, yeah, I already have it. Now I'm purposefully not buying the life drop because there's only one in the whole world. 
so I'm purposefully not buying this one because I don't want to waste it on just learning how to fight a boss. So we're good here. I don't think I need to talk to any of these people. You defeated the screaming demon, didn't you? Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, we used the wand of fire and we immolated his ass. I don't think there's... Oh, look at that. As I lay in bed this morning, a dove happened to fly in my window. Oh, you know what? We probably were supposed to talk to this guy last stream. Maybe this makes something appear in the in the mind. Just don't ask him his behavior on airplanes, right? A message was tied to its leg. The note was from my brother, Rally Flair. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's important. It read, while picking herb inside the mine, I heard a sudden crash as the walls of the cave gave in. I'm now trapped inside. Please help. <laughs> Please save my brother. Okay, so you're going to ask a total stranger to save your brother instead of going in yourself? Yeah, 10-year-old Seraph didn't uh, notice how odd that was. So anyway, we're going to go back into the mine and try and track down this shit. But first and foremost, I need to track down that rota tree nut. And then we'll get into the other reason why uh, Seraph was testing slash farming for XP on this game. Besides David Reed and Charlotte, you know I'm not well versed on my as well versed on my wrestling lore as I really should be. I was re I really followed wrestling in the 80s and early 90s, and then I dropped out of it for a while. And then I watched it a ton in like around the 2005 2006 era, back when uh, SmackDown and Raw did the did the draft. And then you had those two shows on. So it was around the WCW um, merger. That was about when I next watched. Where the hell is that Rotatree now? Yeah, now these guys are going to be all over the fucking place. But I want to see if that Rotatree nut does exactly what I think it does. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. That game that allowed me to have MP. And Seraph's already forgotten where the rotor tree nut is. Isn't that awful. How did I already forget? These guys aren't really giving me that much XP. Do I have to use it first? I probably have to use it first. Whoops. Yeah, let's use it. Alright. Good. Okay, so that button fires that. Okay. So now does the Rotatree Nut appear? I think... Because I think what happens is the Rotatree Nut won't even be on the ground if you have it in your inventory. So what I probably needed to do was to use it and then uh, come back. But yeah, the Rotatree Nut does do what I think it does. It restores your MP. So that's good. I just need to figure out where the hell I picked it up. Well, we watch WD regular in the server. I should totally do that. Because it sounds like you guys have a great time on, on Discord. I really should join in on that. Plus, his exalted character is a wrestler, and I, it, it, I know he gets... He must get so much inspiration from some of those guys. Let's see. I feel like it was up here, right? I mean, I suppose I shouldn't waste that much time looking for a simple nut, but okay, it's not going to be over here. Because we need to go into the mine, we need to find Dr. Flair. And maybe now he'll spawn. But I don't think so, because I'm pretty sure what we need is either the pickaxe or the sledgehammer. We need something to break down that wall. We found that wall fairly early on, I think. Granted, it's been a week since I've played, so I just don't remember. Nope, that's the way up. Alright, I'm not going to mess around too much looking for a fucking nut. Although I do like the idea of being able to recharge my MP when I need to. Wait. No, this is... Right, that's the way... Alright, that's the way up, that's the way down. This is what I was looking for. I think it was a... Crazy. No fight. Let's unequip the magic. That way I can just press the one button everywhere. But I'm 
pretty sure it was on the upper end of this. Hey, buddy. There you go. Ah, excellent. I will check that in a minute, because obviously when I'm streaming, I kind of, uh, kind of deactivate it. So I'm always concerned that it's gonna ding while I'm live. But I will definitely see that, uh, I'll, I'll see that as soon as I'm, uh, done here. And I will be taking advantage of that. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> What's the story here? Oh, and this guy does damage to me, but at least out here we can just regenerate. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about the Rota Tree Nut. Maybe I don't remember, maybe I remember it being in the wrong place. Maybe it's not here, but I, I could have sworn the Rota Tree Nut was up here. There it is. Okay. I was right. Hey, Ghosty. He's sing off the battle tech, eh? Hey? <laughs> nice pun. Very nice. But yes. So that's actually a good segue into the other reason I'm uh, playing a lot more East lately than uh, anything else. <laughs> My uh, one of the other reasons I was on the other night farming for XP offline was to run some tests. And uh, for the most part, if I'm doing low intensity stuff, like playing emulation games, or I think we can actually go through that now. The door is locked with an immense force. All right, so that door still won't open. We still need to find Dr. Flare. It's not gonna let us proceed until we get that. In fact, let's save, because we did dick around a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll just save here. So the other reason I was on was to test out some things, and uh, turns out my hypothesis seems to have been right. My GPU is dying, and so I've already ordered a replacement. Uh, the water block for the new one has already come in. So I will be replacing my GPU, unfortunately, by force. <laughs> Don't really have uh, much choice in the matter, sadly. Let's see, if we go all, all left, all right, that brings us here. Okay. Just go wherever you find the dirtiest doctor in the game, right? So let's go right. I think that leads... Doesn't this lead... All right, so there's that pool of water. Let's not go down, right? Let's not go down. This doesn't go down. Let's see if we can figure out... Here. It's so easy to get lost in this fucking place. Oh, treasure chest. That's probably our sledgehammer or pickaxe or whatever. Pickaxe. Slightly GPU jelly of what you got coming. Whoops. Okay, let's not kill this guy. Okay, so now we just need to remember where that fucking flawed wall was. And I don't remember it being all that far. Okay, this is where we came in, right? This leads directly out. This does lead directly out. Right, there's no other way to go. Right, this leads out. Okay. So let's kind of explore and play a little around here. You know what, while we have the pickaxe, let's just save. Just in case I die doing something stupid. Yeah, I'll probably sell the water block on my 3060 just because someone may want the water block. It's a perfectly good water block. But um, I can't in good conscience sell the uh, 3090 unless somebody wants to buy a dying 3090. I can't imagine somebody would. All right, let's go left this time. Uh, let's go right again. So I think I was going left last time. Oh, look at that. You think you see the passage, but it's blocked by a wall of rubble and you're unable to get through. Convenient. Go. You swing the pickaxe with all of your might. The wall collapses in a heap of rubble. Hey, look at that. There's Dr. Flare. Wow, I didn't expect to do it that early. Holy shit. Ah, uh, we couldn't have done that any faster. Here, I thought I was going to be wandering around this fucking mine for a while. Thank you so much. I didn't think I was going to make it. 
Let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Flair. Don't worry about me anymore. I think I can make it out of here by myself. Is that letter for me? Yes. What? It seems Bernice's daughter is seriously ill. Uh, <laughs> yes. I believe I have an antidote. We need two ingredients. One is a cursetta flower, which we already have, which grows only on the banks of shady ponds. The other is, let's see, what was it? Oh, yes, it's rotatory nuts. Oh, and conveniently we have that too. Perfect. I haven't seen many recently, but we used to be able to pick them in the ruins. I could prepare a suitable remedy if you can bring me these items. Um, I could bring them to you now. You're not going to let me do it now, are you? Okay. So we're going to need to go to Dr. Flair in the, in the village. That's okay. Now we just have to get the hell out of here. Let's see if Seraph remembers the way out. Uh... Ooh, yes, it does. Perfect. We're out of here. Cool. We're done with the fucking mine. We are done with the fucking mine. Holy fucking Luya. <laughs> oh my God. That was awesome. <laughs> okay. The scary part is that went really well. So what is not... What is not going to go very well? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Well, that was expected to take an hour and 10 and 20. Seriously, I really thought I'd be wandering around lost in there forever. Um, now, I did briefly have a hazy bit of an impression that Dr. Flair was not in that second part of the mine past the boss, but, uh, and there's no fucking way I remembered that shit and just happened to go the right way. Um, that was, there was some serious luck involved. The only thing that was, like, at least in our favor that I did right was I remembered, all right, we did that last time, so let's do something else. So that was helpful. Now, let's see, does Dr. Flair show up over here? Or does he show up at Bernice's house? Nope, you show up here. Cool. Um, hmm, there we go. Great. You must have gone through heaven and hell finding this herb. Yeah, we did. We just did it earlier. Now, let me work on the proper potion. In the meantime, we mustn't tell Lily of her sickness. Yeah, God forbid we tell the patient that she's ill. I've done it. The remedy is ready. Please bring it to her mother at once. Zero escape games, because your entire perception of how the mind works will be altered forever. <laughs> uh, what, what platforms the Zero escape games on? I'm, I'm totally game with that. We could watch Seraph's mind break in real time. Sure, why the fuck not? That's the Elder's house. Okay, yeah, this is Lilia's house. Oh, you have the medicine. You must have met Dr. Flair recently. Oh, how can I ever thank you? You've saved my daughter's life. I'm not doing that voice anymore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my old friend Rex came over uh, a short while ago. He told me to give you this. Unique wand. Ah, uh, okay, this will let us open the fucking door. I'm not sure why it's so special, but my lead husband always assured me it was. Yep. Oh, the magic of return. Oh, that's an awesome wand. Yes. So the magic of return allows us to warp around. I am sorry, but I overheard you talking to Bernice. I was about to die of a disease I knew nothing about. But you risked your life to get the medicine that I so desperately needed. I owe my life to you. How can I ever thank you? And I think now she gives me what I... Oh, no, she just says hi. Okay. At all. Oh, I, I guess it's nothing. Please take care of yourself. Yeah, the old anime trope. Oh, it's nothing. Like, motherfucker, no, it's not nothing. Original releases were DS for the first game and 3DS for the second. It's since been re-released for PS4. Oh, okay. Oh, and it's on Steam too. Cool. Yeah, so if you want me to stream it, Steam is probably the best option. I do need to link my PS5 to my Twitch account though, because depending on if it takes me a while to um, get um, my computer up and running properly, I might want to stream on my PS5 in the meantime. I really do need to mess mess around with that though. Okay, no. I literally just I literally just fucking did this. And now I'm gonna completely forget where it is, right? Nope, it's up here. Nope, 
All right, went right for it this time. Thank goodness. What a strange looking nut. Let's reactivate. Uh, sure. I don't think the Clarity Ring does anything for me at the moment, but we will activate the magic fire. Yeah, and instead of them hurrying me now, my defense is high enough where they just kind of bounce off me. I have the physical copies. Oh, if you want to borrow them. Yeah, that that works. <laughs> yeah, especially if I end up start streaming on my on my PlayStation. That sounds awesome. At some point we need to meet up and hang out. Alright, now can I open this door? Okay. Let's talk to the elder. Unless I forgot something down in the Unless I forgot something. Scroll of guidance. That's not what I wanted. Whoever reads this scroll must possess the bravery and fortitude, and fortitude is described by our priests. Oh, uh, it's gonna take a while to scroll across. Those copies pretty much exist as my sharing copies because I have the trilogy. Oh, nice! Alright, all these features are great peril. It doesn't seem that our minimum destruction could be avoided. We need the courage of a special man. Please come to Solomon Shrine. Yep, and like I said, the messages in the scroll change depending on uh, which of the goddesses' statues I touch. Okay. So I still can't open that fucking door. What's the story here? Why can't I get out? We've got the herb, evil bell, slate, and on one again. The only annoying part is watching the, sc the text scroll across ever so slowly. And yep, I already turned in all six books, right? All six books are returned to the priests. The way to Solomon Shrine will appear. Did I miss a book? No, I got all the books. Let's head back up to Lance Village. Let's talk to the Elder again. Maybe, maybe I'm missing something. We should have done everything that's important, though. So obviously I'm missing something, but I don't think I'm missing anything that important. Talk to the Elder. That door really should open, and then I think we have, uh, we go to Burnland. If I'm remembering it correctly. Great dangers that lurk in the hollow halls of the Divine Area. No, I've got everything, man. Porch, I've done this. Let me warn you of the great dangers in the Divine Area. I've got all this stuff. Am I losing my mind here? Maybe I, maybe I need to talk to the other Flare now that the brother's back. Thank you so much. I wish I had something to offer you. Unfortunately, all I could give you is my gratitude. Okay, well, it would have been nice if you could have opened the door for me. Really nothing else? Why is that door not opening? That door should open. Wait, what was that? Okay, yep. He's screaming demon. We went through Jira's house. We got that in there. Am I losing my mind? Do I need to use an item at that door? Maybe I need to use an item at the door. Yeah, gratitude doesn't pay the bills. That's very true. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, no, no, I'm going the right way. Sorry. Let's go back in here. Is Seraph losing his mind? Full story at 11. Right, do I, maybe I need to talk to that guy? Let's talk to them. <laughs> yes, but that's beside the point. There are many goons in the cave. Please take care. Okay, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I knew that already. Got ancient slate, oak tree nut. 
on to Foley World. I've already used it. Didn't need that actually while I'm here. Oh, okay. Well, let's set that to fast. Oh, that sets everything fast. No, let's, uh, no, no. I thought that was just, uh, Thor's locked with an immense force. What the fuck did we miss? I must have missed something in the goddamn mine. Fuck. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to go back in. I didn't think I missed anything. I thought the only thing missing was Dr. Flair, but we got Dr. Flair, right? We got Dr. Flair. I don't understand why that door won't open. We return the six books. We return the six books. Is there a different statue down here that there's something deeper in? Fucking hey. Uh hate this mine so much. I think this is going. Right? Now this leads to a dead end. Third way, I think, leads somewhere I actually want to go. Thank you. Let's get past the boss area. Nope, that's just a treasure chest. Back to the boss area we go. To the second half of the mine. Um, this is also why I saved it, just in case I was wrong. Uh, I don't have to backtrack through the mine the whole way in the event we don't find anything. I can just load that. Right, now, but now down we go, good. Hmm. Is there anything else I missed? Brandon, when we were down here, I really was trying save. Mine too. Good. Just trying not to uh all right, so this is the boss room. Yep, all right. So before we go into the boss room and in the mine behind that, is there anything else down here? Nope, okay, there really isn't anything else, okay? Let's be thorough. So the mine apparently wanted us to get the sixth book in Jira's basement, and now we need to do some bullshit over here somewhere. Of course, it's been 30 years. I do not fucking remember. <laughs> I don't remember having to do anything else. I thought we got the six books and then the door opens. Obviously not the case. <laughs> Obviously, Seraph remembered wrong. <laughs> Let's go up first. Oh God, there's so many branching options. But all right, so this branching thing, we went up. All right, so these dead ends for the most part looks more complicated than it is well i get it i may as well get it sure i'll have another crusade of flower why not whoops didn't want to do that that's where the crusade of flower is and that's all there is up okay now we can go down Still didn't find the iron ore though, so that tells me there's definitely something in here I'm missing. Because I know there's iron ore to be had somewhere in this mine. I know there's iron ore to be so somewhere to be had. Good news is we're having an easier time exploring. We don't have to worry about dying so much, so I could focus more on um, exploring everything. I think that door. I think we've gone through that door before. That's it. Going everywhere in this room. Is there anything else past here? Aha! Don't think we've been down here. We did go. We did go up through that, but we didn't go down here. Okay. Maybe. You know what? Save. Save here. This is probably what we didn't explore. Nothing there. Nothing here. Yeah, they're... You almost play a little dirty here with the level design, because that is hard to see. Oh, 
Oh, but no, I was here. I got whatever treasure chest was in there. Damn. I really thought we were onto something here. Shit. This was probably the evil bell. Okay. Well, maybe what happened is we got in here, got the evil bell, and then I never made it up through here. Is that possible? Although I suspect I'm going to find empty treasure chest up here somewhere. And we'll have been here already. That's my guess. Let's go down first. Down. Down. There's nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. It's a dead end. Okay. For sure. Okay. I spoke too soon. It's We're, we're going to be in this fucking mine for like an hour. For something that's probably going to be simple once it's all said and done. Yep, there it is. Another fucking treasure chest open. Damn, what the hell am I missing? But now we're not so frazzled trying to stay alive. So now I could be a little more judicious in my wandering around. Just make sure I didn't miss it. I did go this way. I think we're just backtracking now completely. This is a dead end, right? But there's the other door, right? Okay. I mean, I'm basically remembering this now. Hmm. I hate this fucking mine. Yep, and then the up and over to the left is the Corsetta flower. Yep. Okay, so back down we go. Mostly just me testing to make sure I actually am starting to remember all this shit, which is kind of bonkers considering how alike all this shit looks. So we went in there, we did all that, that's a dead end. It really doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Maybe there's an NPC in Rance Village that I didn't talk to. Probably an NPC in Rance Village I need to talk to. Yeah, I feel like we explored all that. Really don't see anything unless there's another hidden fucking wall somewhere in this bullshit. There could be. I hate this. Wait, did I? Fuck. I don't think we've been down here. Wait, what was the... F what the fuck is the point of this? <laughs> Look at this shit. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> God damn it! I hate this mic so much! <laughs> oh, god damn it. Alright, so I really feel... I feel confident that we got everything in that spot of the mine. I really do. I don't think there's anything else back there. Right, so... I think this is the two directions. We got both. Yep. Thing else here. Thing here. Man, that's brutal. I think you just refill my thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Never mind. There we go. I just needed to talk to any one of these statues again, I guess. Fuck. Or maybe I needed to talk to that one in particular. Although that would be really odd timing that that would be the one statue I talked to. I think I just had to talk to any of them. 
Uh, now I just have to get the fuck out of here. I think it's this way. Should be this way. I don't feel like... Still would like to find that iron ore. I know there's iron ore in here somewhere. I know there is. I just can't find it for the life of me. If iron ore is the only thing we're missing in here, I probably don't give a shit. A uh, hidden ore somewhere. Probably is. It's probably a fake wall and you could just go through it and then there's the treasure chest or ore just sitting there, but whatever. Let's get to Burnland to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't want to go back in that mine anymore. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Oh my god. But yep, there it is. The door is literally just open now. Cool. Alright, so let's see. The Seraph right, and now we go into Burnland. Nope. We're at the ice level. Ice Park East. Uh, although... This was before I hated ice levels. I actually don't really mind this area. Go figure that East would be the one game that would have an ice level that I wouldn't hate. All right, so we're in the ice park now. Wait, what? Thank you. Hit the wrong button there. I didn't feel like, okay, this, I can't go down. Yep, I can't go up that. I need an item. I need a specific type of boots for that. Now I'm high enough level for all this shit. But I could go down them. It just doesn't let me go up them. Let's see. God damn. Okay, so this is where I came in. Where do I need to go? I have no memory of this whatsoever. So, doesn't matter, I can't go up that anyway. So this is not the way we're supposed to go. We need to go up. I love the music for the area though. So, up we go. Now we've got options again. Let's just go up to the right. Something's coming back to me now. It's not that. But at some point, the magic of light's gonna make something appear somewhere. It's not here. I need to activate something to make an ice bridge here, and I don't remember what that is. But it's starting to come back to me now. Okay. Uh, oh, there's literally no reason to go out that door. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, and the deeper into the game we go, the less I'm even, like, the less, or I should say, the more severe my brain fogginess is going to get. Because um, the deeper into East 2 we go, very, you know, I got this far into the game um, less and less frequently. So as many times as I played the game, I played uh, East 1... Mm, a way to get back to the original area. I don't want to do that yet, I don't think. Although it does act as a shortcut. Yeah. Didn't want to get hit. Yeah. And this doesn't count an outside area, so I can't regenerate over here. But alright. First treasure chest. Misty ice drops. Okay, I think that 
allows me to make that land bridge in the, uh, or the ice bridge all the way at the very top. Okay. Slowly but surely we're gonna start breaking our way up here. And then once we get the boots, we can, um, we can walk up the ramps. We go straight, straight up at this point. Bastard. Hey, quit hitting me. Work our way around this way. And you go down. No. You go up. There are the stairs. Perfect. All the way to the top we go. Misty ice drops can crystallize the air to bridge the gaps. I think this is the only place I use it. Say fuck it. That brings us over here. I kind of want to see. No, no, there's nothing else over there. Okay, Sarah, there's only one way to go. Now I got choices. Okay, that is not a choice. <laughs> All right, so that's a treasure chest we're going to need. I think those are the those are probably moves. Figuring out the ice park here. We want to go check out this just in case there isn't anything else up here. Right? No, nothing up here. Keep getting whacked. Let's see. Uh, why did MLG get excited about a remastered collection of this franchise? Because they misheard about the new East. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, bravo. Bravo, my friend. Bravo. Oh my god. All right. So I think I have to come back for, uh, for that other treasure chest in uh, Ice Park East. I think we're in West now, right? Yep, yeah, now we're in West. The West Ice Park. All right, so that's a door. I need to get through the door out. At least they were nice enough to show you the door. So if we get whacked too much, we can always use the magic of return to go to Lance Village, heal up, and then we'll just come back. Oh. Taking way too much damage. I think that's the way down I want. But let's go down this way anyway. Here. Oh, I think that was just a shortcut. I went the long right. Yeah, that probably will lead me to there. Yep, and I need to get to that top one. Okay, well. That I remember. <laughs> Alright, the magic of transform. This is pretty cool. Essentially, the magic of transform lets you turn into a goon and talk to them and shit. Pretty neat.
course, obviously, it takes magic to do, but um, I'll have to do that next time. When one of the, let's do that now. I'm a goon. I heard a scream from the sky, and I saw a huge bird holding a girl in his claws. They were heading towards Solomon's Shrine. And they'll they'll tell you basically kind of interesting shit. Sometimes they're good clues. All right, so I need the boots in order to get to the door. Nice park. Um, I don't know if I want to go through the door yet. Yep, I want to go through the door. All right, so most likely, if I remember correctly, we go through this. We come out the other side. There's our treasure chest. This should be our boots. Yep, the stone shoes. Now we can walk all over the ice park. I don't think I have to have them equipped, but we'll find out. So theoretically... Okay, I do have to have them equipped. But now I could go up here. But now it's not going to let me in, is it? Huh. So, still can't get in there. But, I can at least walk up there. See what the story is. Um, I could just use an herb too and heal. Don't have to exit the whole thing. I don't, I can go. I don't think so. I think I have to go through this way. Okay. So what things could we not get into before? There's a treasure chest at the very bottom of Ice Park uh, East. Because we're in West right now, right? Yep, we're in Ice Park West. Oop. That. Let's see what the important thing is in this. Ah, yes, the Idol of Hawk. So this is cool. Granted, I have to switch to it, but now... Come here, what are you doing? Now the f it comes homing. So now I don't have to aim it as much. So yeah, the idle clock is fucking awesome. Of course, now you, it means you have to switch the inventory a little bit. Now let's head back to Ice Park East and get that last treasure chest. That's probably what I need to get the hell out of here. Oh, there we go. When that all stands in front of the statue of the goddess, the scroll of guidance begins to glow. Scroll of guidance. In order to get inside the ice wall, you must go through the door. Thank you. That was so helpful. But the door you see is just an illusion. Right, 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 right. Okay. When you find a way to see the truth, the real door will appear. Okay. I know what that means. Now, the first time I, I remember playing, yeah, obviously I remember playing this game going, the fuck does that mean? <laughs> All right, now we're on Ice Park East. Get, okay, now we just have to find a way to get down. Get that other treasure chest. So uh, what that is, is use the, uh, the magic of light. If I use the magic of light, the illusion breaks. And then we can see it. What the fuck? Oh, I have to get all the way down there somehow. How do I get down there again? How do I get down there? You know, the thing I was trying to do in here. It's funny, I actually sort of remembered that uh, it was in the, the magic of light was used around here. And I don't think, other than this moment, the mag I don't remember the magic of uh, the Wand of Light ever being useful again. Pretty funny. Figure out how to get down there.
think this might be it. Oh. Do -do -do -do. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Damn, how do I get... Is it through Ice Park West, maybe? that treasure there was another treasure chest down here right it was down near the bottom somewhere Am I losing my mind again I know I'm asking that a bunch of times but I feel like there was a treasure chest somewhere down here that I did want to revisit but now I'm not seeing it well, and then that's the way back out to Lance Village I mean shit maybe I should just go back to Lance Village at this point you know what? Fuck it. Let's go heal up. So it's not like it's far. Not like it's far. At this point, it's not far. This will regenerate here. This, this is starting to come back to me now. Ow. Yeah, let's see. We haven't even gained a level because we gained so many levels off stream. <laughs> uh shit. Alright, so now we can just head over. Take a shortcut. Maybe that's the treasure chest I was thinking of. Maybe I got it already. Nope, this is what I was thinking of. Maybe that's the item I need to use then. Maybe it's not the magic of light. Fuck. Okay. What the fuck is the magic of light for? But alright. So the illusion mirror is what I actually need. Fuck. Well, shit. Okay. I believe I got whack nicked there. Sucks. Shithead. I just healed. <laughs> you little bastard. <laughs> All right, not a big deal. Oh, that was that's my fault. I was careless. Fake stairwell. Stairway to nowhere. This goes to the west. Yep. So I don't need to go up to the goddess statue again. We got everything we need. We just head over. Not that way. Let's see if Seraph could do it this let's see if Seraph could do this right this time. <laughs> Out of curiosity. Next is thirty-three hundred or thirty-three thousand. That's a lot of XP. Uh, I think we're good. Okay. That makes sense. There should be a door in front of you, but the mirror doesn't give its reflection. There we go. Suddenly the mirror begins to sparkle, and the reflection of the real door appears. Yeah. I just misremembered what the actual deal was. My 
fault. I totally forgot. Ah. Damn it. Did I save? And I totally fucked this up. I see at the beginning there, but we figured it, but, but, you know, figured it out. Regretted instantly not saving it right before I walked through that door. I do not know what I was thinking. Notice it registers the inventory. Now what I should have done was turned on the idol of Hawk. <laughs> but it wouldn't let me. <clears throat> I don't know if that would have made life any easier, but I think it would have. It's, it's okay. We're gonna save that, yes. Okay, let's try that again. Now let's see where this leads. Now are we in Burnland? I bet you now we're in Burnland. Yep. Burnland. Okay, we'll be here for a while if memory serves correctly. You feel like someone is watching over you. Yeah, someone is watching us here. Right, someone is watching us here. I need an item to make them appear. It's not anything evil, but you sense some kind of demon. I don't think it's the magic of transform. Let's do this real quick. I don't think this is what I'm looking for, but we'll do it anyway. Yeah, okay. It's not that. Fire. I just wanted to rule that out. I'm pretty sure I need to get something deeper in Burnland and then I can come back here and talk to whatever that is. I actually don't remember what's here. The demon, but not evil. Whatever the fuck that means. This fucking area. Obviously, the monsters are tougher, like any good RPG. A lot to do here. Damn. There. But surprisingly, Jesus. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm not I'm not dying here that quick. I'll get another herb. I'll try not to get myself killed. That's right, I forgot it actually sticks on it too. That idol of Hawk definitely makes my life easier. And you do that. <laughs> I need XP and I want to do it safely. Because these guys will definitely fuck you up. Uh, same thing though. Another one of these. But there's nothing in here.
Good old bump system. My god, it's still as awkward as I remember. You. Man, that adult clock makes life so much easier with the wand of fire. Oh shit, right, right. I forgot you die so fast in there. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Magic of return. Yep, I'm not dying there. Time to get another herb. Let's reheal. Jesus. And I think if we talk to, actually, if I talk to Bernice, she just heals us. I don't have to wait. Plus, I need my magic restored anyway. Okay, so that was close. <laughs> oh my god. I can't find my daughter anywhere. See her, please bring her back home. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't the girl being carried by a monster. Good. But she does heal your HP and MP automatically. That's super awesome. Thank you. I didn't use the rotatory nut, so that's good. Let's buy another herb, though. Yep. You. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I can only go to Rance Village. That's the only problem with that, is now we have to go all the way back through all that shit. But I remember the way, so it's not like it's that big a deal. They still don't have better shit on sale for armor, do they? Let's look anyway. I don't think you are. Yeah, it's only sold out and I already have chain armor. Fuck. Fuck. It's a shame I couldn't find that iron ore. I bet that's what I needed. Although, who knows, maybe they just give you money for it. Okay, so I've got my herb and I've got my rota tree nut back. Let's go back to Burnland and... Fuck, man, that poison gas just kills you so fast. I totally forgot about the poison gas. I think that's the way... That was the only way to go, if I remember correctly, though. I think that's the only way to go. Okay, it's coming back to me. These guys are worth the XP. It's not like I remember this. It's just kind of just like re-memorized it, playing it, you know, now. It's not an overly complicated map. His only purpose is to show you you can go down that way. Ice Park West, you have to go down. Down. Nope. Yucks. This. I need to not take all that damage so that we don't have to keep coming back this way. <laughs> Not a big deal. We figured out the ice park. For the most part. Okay, so we're back to Burnland Mid. Fuck. I don't 
don't think I've got an item. Oh, I remember what I need. I don't remember what the Crusade of Flower does in and of itself. But I know what I need to get through that poison room. There's like a leaf that you use essentially as like a face mask. And that uh, that takes that helps you get through that room. Mm -hmm. Fire. <laughs> I don't want to teleport, thank you. Excuse me, sorry, I didn't mean to clear my throat. Nothing else here, good. No other way to go. And of course there's no warning up until you go through that room. very top of this that shit goes crazy. Now what I think I could do is I could use the herb halfway through that room. I think it's this one. Alright, so we're in Burnland West. Damn it. I hit the wrong button. We saved it right before going in there. Oh. Damn it. I didn't... I didn't change it in time. <laughs> Let's try that again, this time without fucking up. if I can make it through this room this time. Okay, the problem is I'm now grievously wounded. Cook my fucking herb to do it. I don't remember if you're even supposed to be able to do that, but, you know, here we are. <laughs> Here we are. Let's see. But yeah, to make it to make it through that uh, to make it through that room, you're supposed to need a uh, like a face mask type of leaf. So that room is now definitely instant death for us. That shouldn't do any damage to you. <laughs> okay. Yep, yeah, that's... I think this is gonna get me killed. Fine. Except the mutation. gets the blue orb. And again, assuming I didn't just, like, break the game by getting through that. I think that's how you're supposed to get through it the first time, though. Is, um... Is using an herb to get through it. Because it was... It, it didn't feel like there was any other way to get through that. Like... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I didn't see any other way through that. I mean, this isn't another fucking poison room, but I think the boss room is up ahead. Yeah, I think this is the boss room. Almost positive. Unless I'm totally misremembering this. Nope. Still not. Item here. Yeah, 
can't do that. I think I'm supposed to do... The chain is covered. Why are... Why is this not doing anything? I should be able to do something here. Unless I fucked up by getting through the poison gas. Maybe I wasn't supposed to get through the poison gas. That's why this isn't triggering. I'm supposed to be able to talk to somebody who's in a prison in here. Hmm. This is very strange. Wing. The ice drops. Yeah. Um, not seeing anything else to do there. Did I go the wrong way? And at this point, I can't get through the poison room any longer. No other way to go. Hmm. Man, I wish I could really... I wish I had a solid memory of this shit. Right, this went to the blue orb. We got the blue orb. And that's what was over here. Right, there's nothing else over here. Yeah, and there's that dude. We got we got past him for the blue orb. There's nothing else over here. Do I need to use the magic of transform? Or the magic of uh, the blue orb and get the hell out of here? Or, uh, the magic of turn? Probably. Damn it! I didn't use it fast enough. But yeah, I don't, I don't see anything else past there. Yeah, we got the blue orb. Nothing else over here. Go back to Ranch Village! What am I missing? Hmm. Let's heal. I mean, we got the blue orb that's past there. Maybe we go back to that other area. We try to use the blue orb where, we, where we're getting, feeling like somebody's watching us. You know what? I've got another idea that might work. I mean, it really does feel like... It really does feel like playing it for the first time, just because so much of this shit I just don't remember. Anyway, uh... Yep, let's go buy another herb. Because we need that. God damn it. So we used an herb for the first time because we got our ass kicked. Used it the second time to get through the... Poison gas room. Boy, that poison gas does kill you in a hurry, doesn't it? Holy smokes. Oh, we gotta go to the fucking ice park again. Hopefully this blue orb is like shiny or something and makes something appear. Hope. Of going back and forth. Of course, if Seraph knew what he was doing, this would have gone a lot faster. It's funny, I actually remember, I think I remember more of the puzzles, or more of the things to do in Solomon Shrine than I do here. But I may have only made it through Burnland like three, maybe three times? Like ever? <laughs> like no joke. Uh, because for the most part, if I made it through Burnland, I think I made it through the... Well, no, because I think I only beat the penultimate boss one time. Uh, all the other times I had saved it after... After him. Damn it. So I had beaten them 
the blast boss a number of times just to see the end of the game. But I didn't beat the, peninsula uh, the penultimate boss except for that one time. So, yeah, that's gonna be. Oh, dear God. What am I. Where am I? I'm in East. Damn it. I know where I'm gonna go. Why I went all the way down, I don't know. Talking instead of paying attention to what I'm doing. Can I make my way over all this way? It does seem like I can. Perfect. Good, good. Uh, so I have to admit I'm a little worried about about that boss, the dragon, as it were. <laughs> the last boss actually does not worry me all that much. For the most part, I mean, you can't use a... Uh, you could use magic, but you can't use uh, items. So obviously you can't use an herb or anything. But there is... Um, it's like basically magic of invincibility. So you use that and you essentially use the MP up of that. For the most part, I really feel like I'm probably okay. I'll, I'll either get him in the first try or two or three tries. Boss before that? Not so sure. <laughs> I just don't remember how hard he is. Ugh. Maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then this is the double. Yep. Up we go. This shit. Okay. Idle hawk. And we're back to burn land. Gotta be. So, a couple of possibilities. I feel like someone watching over you. Let's see, Burnland mid, no, actually. Save. Let's go back to my main save here. I don't think this is what I even wanted to use. <laughs> I wish I could remember what I need to do. Is that anything evil, but you sense some kind of demon? I did do the magic of transform, right? I know I've done this. I know I did this the first time. It just didn't show up. So I've tried the homing fireball, that didn't get anything. The blue orb didn't seem to get anything out either. What the fuck? What am I missing? Let me talk to these assholes. I drove those obnoxious duck demons into the passageway between the ice fountain and here. Alright, so yeah. They do not know how to treat us. Alright, so the duck demons are in there. What I needed to do, I just needed to talk to one of these assholes. Now they'll show up. Drop the drota, drota tree leaf, and now I can't get through the passageway. Yeah, because there's toxic gas coming up. Yeah, I know the rota tree leaf is what I need. So you dropped it. So we know you dropped it. Yeah. I know that's I knew it's what I needed. Just can't seem to figure out where it is. Fucking I know about the duck demons. Wait, did I not go this way? No, I went this way. I went this way, right? No, 
Maybe I didn't go this way. Shit. Did I get myself into all that trouble just because I didn't see this passageway to go east? Shit. That would be embarrassing. But it happens. Fuck. Yep, that's that's what happened. Fair enough. Burnley in mid. Uh, this fucking boss. Oh no, okay, never mind. But this is a new area. Good. Damn. Man, that guy got, did a number of damage on me. Suck. Now we don't have enough health to get through the poison gas. That sucks. Although I, want, I, think, I don't think I was supposed to get through that anyway. Whoops. Let's try this again. This time without the oops. Okay, now if I remember correctly, this might be Burnland Village. Yep, this is Burnland Village. Motherfucker. Okay, well, let's regenerate our hit points. God damn it. <laughs> uh, so here's the cool part. This I remember being here. Use the rotor tree nut. Because right here, we got another rotor tree nut. And it's an infinite supply. And now I could use the magic of transform, uh, magic of teleport, or the magic of return, to get to this place. That is awesome. Okay. So well, now we're in better shape. Okay. Fine. Burn land. Yep, burn village. Let's see what's going on up here. Now I have a better idea of what to do. Now I, I remember one thing in particular we need to do here. There used to be animals called quays, the duck demons, roam these areas. It's said that these animals were put under a curse, and they were transformed into goons. They still roam quietly somewhere in Burnland. I am going to need them. The guard on the east bridge is named Kudo. The other day, the goons came into the village, and there was like one hell of a big fuss. He's been acting strange ever since. Every time I see the street leading to Ice Park, I get this strange feeling. I feel like some kind of spirit whenever I'm in there. Maybe we could use something to lure it on. Yeah, I know something makes it come out. I guess it wasn't the, uh, the damn blue orb, but whatever. Wise people tend to be dead when they're about to be attacked by the goons. <laughs> I'm the bridge guard, Kudo. The goons broke into the winch. Uh, oh, the goons broke the winch, rather, to lower the bridge. So there's no way we can get across to the other side. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna call bullshit on that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, so that looks like there's all there is to do here in Burnt Village. Except for... I love this when you talk to them. This guy's just a goon. Hey, the goons get in! What the devil is that bridge guard doing? <laughs> the villagers fucking panic and shit. I didn't let Adol cross the bridge, just as I promised. Now tell me, where's my son? Ah, that's why he's acting strange. I don't think Adol will give up so easily. What should I do if he comes back? Now, Kudo, what now? <laughs> what? That coon was really you? Why did you trick me? Why are you working with the goons, motherfucker? Oh, oh yeah, your son being kidnapped is probably a good reason. Anyway, don't let anyone know what I'm about to tell you. Not long ago, the goons came to this village and kidnapped my son. When they were about to leave, they said to me, a renegade with red hair, red hair named Adol, will come here soon. If you want your son back, do not let him cross the bridge. At all, you're responsible for my son's capture. I mean, he's not entirely wrong there. They want you, not Tarf. It's your fault. You must rescue him. I heard that he's been locked up somewhere. Hey, before you go, take these earrings with you. They will allow you to hear even the faintest of sounds. I don't remember why the earrings are important. 
but maybe the whisper hearings allow me to talk to the fucking duck monsters. Here, even the faintest of the- Oh, that's why. Okay. I know why those are important. Okay. Uh, now if I could just find the fucking leaf. Um, yeah, I need that rotatory leaf. That would make my life a lot easier. Where the hell is that stupid rotatory leaf? Granted, I could just do the same trick again with the herb to get through the fucking um, poison gas. Here, I don't see anything. Hmm. That is weird, right? No rota tree leaf. The goon dropped it. So, I mean, I've got an herb. I could make it across again and then just use the magic of return to get to burn village. Could just do that. We've got the whisper earrings. Although now that we've heard about the quays, maybe we can get them to come back. I think the quays actually give you the, uh... I think it's the quays that'll give it... Oh! Our bone tree leaf is buried in the volcanic ash. I was like, wait a minute, what's that? Alright, never mind. Okay, now we head back up. There we go. Now... Now my life is a lot easier. And I guess the game does prepare for you to do that because you need the, uh... Whisper earrings in order for that wall to be useful. Cool, we go back. Up, up, up we go. Live without the hawk, hawk, hawk item for a minute. Poison gas room, but now we're not taking damage. That's a beautiful thing. Alright. Thank you. Back to the idol of Hawk. Not mean to smack it right back into me. That sucked. Damn it, Sarah. Here we go. Yep. And prison should be up here. And we're back to this. You sense something behind the wall. Maybe you're wrong. Nope, we're not. Whisper earrings. And now that we've got them equipped, now we can hear. Someone seems to be behind the wall. You shout through the crack and you hear a voice. Is someone out there? My name is Tarf. I am the son of the bridge guy. I truly hope that you can save me. But I'm afraid this rock is very solid and will be most difficult to break. There's a demon locked in here with me. The strange thing is that he never attacks me and he can speak our language. The demon's name is Keith. Keith is fucking awesome. He wants the blue orb. 
He says he can get us out of here if he has it. Please go and find the blue orb. Well, <laughs> what do you think about that? I'm suffocating. Please hurry, find the blue Thank goodness you brought me the blue orb. Hand it to me through the crack. A little to the right. Down just a little bit. Okay, okay. Yes, there. Thank you. I got it. Look, Adol, a bright a bright light is flowing out from the blue orb. Oh, the entrance to the prison is open. Thank you again, Adol. You are indeed a courageous warrior. I'm going back to the village now. Please come and see me later. There we go. We get some XP. Yay, XP. Alright, now we're in good shape. Okay. Sticking your hand in a rat of crack. Sure to pay off. <laughs> right? Oh my god. Alright, so we equip the idol of Pock. Head back. I think we got yep, magic fire. Perfect. Yeah, what could go wrong? Make sure I don't die on the way back now. We're not going to be done with Burnland yet, though. Okay, here's the poison gas room. Relief. <laughs> that is pretty funny that I cheesed my way through that. Wait, wrong appendage. <laughs> <laughs> Instructions unclear. <laughs> now a eunuch. Actually, that'd be worse than a eunuch. Eunuchs have different parts worn off. Ah! Alright, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not gonna die from some lucky shot on the way back to the, on the way back to a Burnland Village. Although, I could just use the magic of return to go to Burnland Village, but... We've, we've come this far! <laughs> we've come this far. Let's just go back to the village the normal way. We're gonna, yep, there it is. Can't believe I missed that, uh, that doorway. Oh my goodness, I could have made my life so much easier if I'd just seen that. Oh well. At least we don't need to go through the poison gas room any longer. That's what I was trying to avoid with all that, but there were like two of them, and then by that point he was already that close. Bastard. Sans huevos. <laughs> Bringing our conversation about languages uh, full circle there, Dark Star. <laughs> or were you not there for that earlier conversation? Wait. We're going the right way. Village is up this way, right? Damn. Something's written on the wall. Oh. Five days have passed since I was locked up in this prison. I'm starting to have difficulty breathing. Ah, uh, yeah, this is Tark. I've almost given up hope. But what a strange dream I had last night. There was a girl in the dream. She kept shouting, please, come to Solomon Shrine. It had an image of the goddess, uh, of the goddesses uh, in the old legend. If that was a prophetic dream, then I'm sorry I can't be of any help to her. Oh, I don't want to die yet. But yeah, here's where I passed the uh, blue orb through the, through the crack here. Uh, so now that doorway is there. That doorway was not there before.
back to Burnland Prison we go. Or, uh, Burn Village. I think we regain our health here. Though. Yes, we do. Thank God. Oh, caramba. So we'll regenerate all that. Um, okay, what I will do... Now we can go to Burn Village. We're just gonna go to Rance Village real quick. Rebuy another herb. And then I'm gonna go back to Bridge Guard and we will advance. And the fucking boss that's beyond that, I remember being a total bastard. The funny part, when Seraph was playing this originally, that was the first boss that I felt the overwhelming need to farm XP from. That's where I was like, you know, this is, this is way tougher than it should be. And a friend of mine happened to be over and he was like, why don't you just go run around and kill monsters and level up? And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> so I've already done that at Jira's basement, but point being, this, this game was literally the uh, game that taught me that doing that was important. Now, green nut. The that I spent, because the magic of return uses like 20 MP. Regain it, and we're in good shape now. Save. Yeah, I should have just done all that, and then save, but whatever. I guess just in case I hit a wrong button heard the story from Kudo. His son had been kept hostage. No wonder he was acting strange. Yeah, now you're gonna sell me the same shit. Oh, come on. I wish I could just cancel out of that. It's nice that some of them do let you cancel and then... But I wish they all did. Alright, so here's Tarf. the warrior who brought the orb. Soon after, the demon held me above his head and crossed through the lava. Then he brought me to the entrance of the village. Oh yes, I almost forgot to tell you. When I was locked up, there was a strange message written on the wall. I couldn't actually read it, but I think it was written by the demon key. So the mess we threw red was actually Keith's. I actually thought that was Tarf, but oh well. Uh, are you really going to Solomon Shrine? Yes. Wait, why is that too bad? We were just getting to know each other what he thinks going to Solomon Shrine's a death sentence. At all. Please forgive me. I was overcome by the grief of my lost son. I'm so sorry. Well, I mean, totally get that. I told you that the winch was broken and that you couldn't cross. But, in fact, I lied. Shocker. I'm so ashamed. Please forgive me. There we go. And now we can cross. Oh, more bullshit. Looks like that was all a dead end, so it's just as well I went this way. I think that's the way I need to go. Guy's dead. There go here. Huh, we're level 49. We actually have been gaining a couple of levels as we go here. Still can't. I still wish I could remember how to get the frickin' duck demons to come out. Because we didn't get anything new. Look how much, look how, much hip, hip, how many hit points these guys have. 
Fuck, I hate this thing. I don't even remember it. I just remember hating it. Yep. I can't do any damage to it. That's what I thought. Yep, that's right. I, I, I knew this thing sucked a lot. At least I remember that it sucks. Go in and do it. Let's try. That wasn't actually all that bad. Man, I must have. I wonder what level I was at though. Because I was horrendously under level. I was also not as good at video games as I am now. So, I mean, that's part of it. But Jesus. That thing was so hard once upon a time. Um, Alright, well, never mind. Bunch of fanfare. But yeah, that boss. That boss I remember being so difficult. I died so many times to that thing. So yeah, there's that, and the- This- Ah, and we're already here. Cool. And now we're in Ramia Village. We are moving right along. I wish I could do something to save the villagers being offered for sacrifice, but I can't get into the shrine. I love it when they just give you the clues right here. If only I looked like a goon, I could sneak my way past the gate guards. Goons were on a manhunt the other day, and my daughter Maria was caught. I'm terrified that they will offer her up in sacrifice. And here's that bell. Did you just hear that bell? That is the signal that starts the sacrificial ritual. They must have offered another one of the villagers. I'm afraid my daughter will be next. They'll kill my poor Maria! There's an old water well in Evan's house. That water is out of this world. So who are you, Zalem Store? Ah, yes. We don't call this one a hypercutter for nothing, and we don't sell it for nothing either. It costs 20,000 gold. Bye! Oh, finally I can get good armor. Yes, bye. Shield. Large shield, you already have it. Okay. Cool. Now we finally have, for the first time in a while, we've got better shit. Sword. Yeah, I mean, we skipped all that armor because I couldn't find the frickin' or- uh, the, huh. Oh, it's your favorite! Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, so I guess you missed that part earlier. Uh, so the East Book 1 and 2, or the East Book 2 ice uh, area, is probably one of the very, very few ice regions I don't hate. I actually like it. Um, but it's also before... I started to hate ice levels, so this one's not so bad. Uh, so anyway, we got... Alright, so perfect. Now we actually have better armor. We're not going to get take nearly as much damage. But we've reached Ramia Village. Let's save this. Let's talk to some of the villagers now that, we, uh, now that we've blown some of that money that we had accumulated. The goons don't attack us as long as we give them an occasional offering. However, the village population has decreased dramatically. Yeah, it'll do that when you keep sacrificing a village's lives. Uh, oh, right, we already talked to you. You wandered around a little bit. Old man Evan used to love exploring the halls of the shrine, but ever since the goons came, it's been too dangerous, and he's been in deep depression. 
This guy's cool. I am Decca. I know exactly who you are. You have a great reputation which precedes you, Adolf. I had a strange dream last night. You were in that dream, Adolf. There was also a charming young girl who, who spoke of you and said that I must help you. How marvelous that you're here now. I know that you want to go into the shrine. But it's just too dangerous to go in there uh, without the proper equipment. Oh, it's a good thing I just bought a whole bunch of shit from them. Why don't you just ask Haddit for help, okay? Well, he, I don't know who that is, but I definitely uh, patronized Zel uh, Zelnia's store. He doesn't know that Sada is going into the shrine. Let him know and see if he can help you. Oh, Jesus. All right, I think that's this guy, but this might be Evan's store. Uh, let's see. Who's... Yep, this is Evan's house. I'm an old man now, and I don't have long to live. Why should I care what the goons do? Gee, nice. Nice, dude. Nice. So this must be Haddit. Yep, had its house. What? Sada was heading for the shrine. I see. He must be going there to save Maria. She was captured by the goons for their sacrifice. If you're going to the shrine, would you please bring my son back? If I love it, gives you the option, though. Thank you, I knew you would. Please, take this shell with you. You will be able to communicate with me from great distances. Adol gets the Voka shell. I think it was supposed to be the Vogel shell, but... But yeah, if I activate this and talk to him... Voice of an old man can be heard from the shell. Have you found Sada yet? Yeah, there's nothing really else to do with him. But we're getting here. Alright. I see you got the Voka shell from Hadet. Let me unlock the door for you. Please hurry. Well, and just like that, we are now ready to get into Solomon's Shrine. No, nope, and you just don't take any damage. Fortunately, we already know how to how to do this. Transform. <laughs> what are you waiting for? You may pass. What, are you saying that you killed Adol? <laughs> well, that sword and armor aren't Adol's. Maybe you really did kill him. All right, I'll open the door for you. Go report this to Yatai. You know where Yatai's room is, don't you? It's on the third floor, to the right side of the shrine. Okay, Yatai's room, third floor, right side. Alright. And just like that, what are you hanging around for? What are you hanging around for? Do -do 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 -do. Just like that, we have now entered the East 2 Mega Dungeon. The Solomon Shrine. This fucking thing is so massive. So it's on the third floor, we gotta go to get Ty's room for some reason. Oh boy. Seraph remembers getting lost as fuck in this huge ass place. So yeah, remember the very beginning of the game where they're showing that, like, you know, that flashback of East before it vanished, and there's that gigantic mountain and the shrine that's all the way up there? Yeah, that's this. We are now in that gigantic ash shrine. All right, so now we're on the third floor, all the way to the right, huh? Uh, I think that's the room they're talking about. I think this is the room. Yep. It's locked. Hey, if I do magic or transform. Hey. What do you mean you don't know where you are? You're right in front of Mr. Dragger's room. I think I can get in there though. Okay, and now it begins. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> it already begins. I really don't know what I'm doing. We went up and to the right.
Do you know the secret password? I can't let you in until you tell me. Alright. So, I need to get the secret password to get into that. Oh, boy. Wanted. Sada yet? Nope, haven't found Sada yet. Goddamn. Maybe if I find a goddess statue. Oh, I got to Solomon Shrine. Fuck if Seraph remembers where the fuck I'm supposed to go. But this is the, um, this is essentially the dungeon of East 2. And of course, we don't heal because we're in, even though we're outside, this is the dungeon. Uh, right, there's nothing else up there. I think I went in this way, and then that's where I went out the other way, right? Yeah. Here's Mr. Dragger's room. Yep, this is Dragger's room. Right, they're having a meeting in there, and eventually the meeting ends, and then we can go in here. So it's locked. Maybe we'll go out this way. Seems to be an intruder in the shrine. Yep, that's uh, that's me, buddy. <laughs> you guys can all go fuck yourselves. But there's a password I need. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Can we go up this way? Is that another way? Yep. Okay, we can go this way. So here's a new area. Let's see. I swear to every fucking god, old, new, and eldritch, the piano is the worst thing about Rebirth. <laughs> Sorry if you're off topic, right, but good fucking god, is it the best intended, worst executed minigame in the whole damn game? So I actually haven't played Rebirth yet, but I am not looking forward to the piano minigame in Rebirth. <laughs> I'm still actually playing uh, Remake. Uh, I, I'm not sure how far in Remake I'm in yet, but uh, I am looking forward to completing that. That's actually why I haven't dropped in on your streams yet, Darkstar, because I don't want to spoil myself from anything. And your comment isn't a spoiler anyway. But um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to uh, to that piano minigame now. I'm, I'm going to be like, oh god. That. Yep, I can't let- you won't let me in until I get the fucking password. Uh, maybe you tell me the password. <laughs> a very important meeting is going on in there. I can't let you in unless you have the pass. Alright, so if I get the pass, I'll be okay. So I need a password and a pass. Uh, well, if only Seraph remembered. Although I think what I may end up having to do is go back to Rance Village and someone there may end up having a clue of what to do. Whoops. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. Oh God. No. 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 I hit the fucking wrong button on the controller and the fucking steam thing popped up. I cannot press any button or tap the screen to continue. God. Damn it, Steam. Oh, and I'm getting raided. Hey, Kara. So, Seraph just killed himself by hitting the wrong button. I can't get to my game yet because Steam's big picture thing turned on. Exit big picture mode, you fucking bastards. All right, now I'm back there. It's only game one. <laughs> so I'm not actually generally, genuinely mad. Hey, Maxie, how are you? <laughs> right? Steam overlay can eat a pickled anus. Hey, Nikki. So I have no idea how I even died. I didn't see anything. I, I just have no idea. How much progress did we... Oh, God. Okay. All right. Well, this is a good time to switch and do some shout-outs. <laughs> Let's do some shout-outs. 
<laughs> Sister shoutouts. Hey, Kara. Oh my god, how did the rest of Sea of Thieves go? <laughs> While we're at it. That yeah. raid happened during a painful moment. Yeah, it was a perfect time for a raid. Just as Seraph is like, I have no idea. I can't see. <laughs> Which is tradition. <laughs> it really is. It's actually a funny time for you to show up. It, it worked out uh, as far as comic uh, comedy is concerned. But that's all right. We are. Uh, we know a couple of things that we need to do, so we're just going to talk to some people, and uh, we'll get there. Yeah, Cleo is asleep, probably tired from playing with the snake that she caught. Oh yeah, that was something that happened before we got started. <laughs> I didn't tell everybody uh, as I started things here, but uh, Cleopatra caught her biggest snake that she's ever caught. I think it was a garden snake, but the damn thing was enormous. Uh, it really was. The fucking thing was huge. <laughs> Let's see. Did I get everybody? If not, uh, uh, Freakbot or, uh, or Kara. Oh, Maxi. Uh, assume my typing. I always type Maxi with the abbreviation that I do. <laughs> there we go. And boom. Okay, perfect. All right, that's everybody's shout outs here. Let's go back to in-game and we'll go back to this. So yeah, we're, we're, we're doing pretty well, all things considered. Uh, I got lost a little bit. They'll kill my poor Maria. Okay, we already talked to her. Uh, let's see. Okay, yep, I saved it after buying better equipment. So yeah, we're in Ramia Village. Uh, yeah, that was super awesome. So I've got my herb, I've got my hawk, idol of hawk. So we're, we're okay here. I uh, wish I could do something to save the villagers. <laughs> Just win. <laughs> yeah, right, I took a picture of it. Because I heard she has a very distinctive meow that's a, Hey, Dad, look what I caught. <laughs> and the second I heard, I'm like, I'm three-fourths of the way down my stomach with my sandwich, flipping back and forth between Kara and uh, Freakbot. And all of a sudden, I just hear that distinctive meow. And I, oh, fuck. What did you catch this time? I look over thinking it's going to be a lizard, and I just see a pile of snake. And I just, you know, of course, I scream, and it wasn't the most manly scream. Um... <laughs> And uh, my phone was right there, so I'm like, all right, the snake is traumatized. Cleo's just sitting there waiting for it to move. I'm gonna document this shit. And then I'm, as I'm trying to figure out how the fuck I'm gonna get this enormous snake out of my house now. <laughs> yes, all screams are manly screams. <laughs> yeah, she really was. She was like, hey dad, look what I did. <laughs> the only other time that was better than that as far as like, hey dad, look what we did was when Cleo and Diesel at the time, uh, before Diesel had kidney failure, he lived a long life. So I come in after a day of work and I'm used to the cats coming to say hello. Yeah, just pick it up with my bare hands. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I think it was a garden snake. I, I think I probably could have just picked it up with my bare hands. It probably would have been okay, but I wasn't taking any chances with that. But uh, as far as like story time, the um, that first time, I get in and I don't see them come say hello and I'm like what are my cats up to and I kind of come inside I close the door I'm slowly coming inside and in the living room I see Diesel and I see Cleo sitting there and they look at me with the Cheshire cat smile of like that just that look of like and I swear they didn't meow but the way they looked at me was hey dude look what we did they had Cheshire cat smiles it was hilarious except for the fact that in between them was a hand-sized wolf spider belly up they must have just played with it until it just died <laughs> my instincts with seeing a snake are get a broom or get a gun so uh so yeah uh so yeah cleo likes to meow and announce when she's killed something um if only i looked like a goon so i could sneak by past the gate guards basically telling you how to get into the shrine um so yeah we're, we're gonna talk to hot alt had it in a second here um see so this is village um, yeah, she is a beast, man. She is 20 pounds of adorable murder. Uh, so today I cruise out and I look over and I see this pile of snake. And, and by this point, by the time she told me what she had done, she must have just been playing with it for a while. And that snake was already really traumatized. 
Uh, it was just in a pile, just licking its licking its tongue, but it wasn't aggressive at all. It was just timid and just like, oh my god, don't kill me. <laughs> we can get close enough to tell the difference. You're too close to it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Totally agree, Darkstar. Um, well, I mean, I just rounded the corner and then I look at it and I'm probably like five feet away from it at this point. And it's just in a pile on my on my kitchen floor. Uh, so yeah, at that point, I, I had ordered a box from Amazon and I'd let Cleo play with it because it's a fucking box. Um, so at that point, I'm like, guess what, cat? So I take the box, I open it up, I put it on its side, it's open. And uh, then I put on a, uh, an oven mitt and I get out my spatula and I'm just forward just in case, in case it tries to two bite me. And I misidentified it as something venomous, at least this way it won't bite me. Um, and then I kind of coax it with the spatula up and into the uh, lid of the... Um, of the box and once I get enough in there I just tip the box over and the snake was big and heavy enough that it just fell in and uh yeah <laughs> at that point it, it didn't even try anything that snake just stayed in a pile and it just kind of looked at me and let it <laughs> it just let me <laughs> kind of slide it slowly into the box and I took it across the street and uh dumped it into the woods over there that aren't near anybody's house so uh yeah so yeah I, I rescued and I think that snake was very happy to be <laughs> delivered <laughs> blissfully from the literal jaws of death. Uh, <laughs> crab behind the head and don't let go. Yeah. If I really, 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 really need to, uh, that's, that's what I would do. And I hope I never have to do the whole grab behind the head thing. Because if I have to do that, kind of like what Darkstar said, that means I fucked up and I was too close as it is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, old water well in Evan's house. That water's out of this world. So let's go to Evan's house real quick. I'm an old man now. I don't have long to live. Why should I care what the goons do? Thanks, Evan. Uh, you in Florida? They don't sell the snake uh, stick lasso things? I am? Yeah, I am. You know, I never looked, actually. I should probably look for how often... I am Decca. I know exactly who you are. You have a great reputation which precedes you, Adol. I had a strange dream last night. You were in that dream, Adol. There was also a charming young girl who, who spoke of you and said that I must help you. How marvelous that you're here now. I know that you want to go into the shrine. So that's two people now that have had dreams of a girl telling them to help Adol. <laughs> Bullets are cheaper than snake sticks. Yeah, right? <laughs> Just make one with a hanger wire. I mean, I could have taken out my, uh, my mace and maced it, but, you know... <laughs> But it's just too dangerous to go in there uh, without the proper equipment. Now, granted, I bought a whole bunch. I bought a new sword and I bought better armor. Uh, so now I don't have completely flimsy, cheap armor. But he still says, ask Hadat for help. And he's going to give me the Volker shell, which I think was supposed to be Volkol shell. Uh, you could pick it up or at least pin its head with the hook. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Macing a stake sounds like a fantabulous idea, right? Things that people do when they're really, really fucking desperate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, that would not be my plan A, for sure. So now we go into Hadid's house. What? Sada was heading for the shrine? I see, he must be going there to save Maria. And of course, we ran into a villager earlier that said Maria was taken to the shrine. Uh, so we found out that the villagers from this town are being essentially sacrificed. Uh, the goons leave them alone as long as every so often when the goons show up and ask for a sacrifice They just hand over a sacrifice, but the population of the town is decreasing And so what happens is every so often villagers get uh, kind of taken up. <laughs> what could go wrong? Wind blows in Seraph's face and immobilized for snake attack <laughs> Oh my god, I'm land, I'm land <laughs> uh, So yeah, Maria was taken by one of them and um, bringing back from uh, Freakbot's earlier observation, what happens is a bell rings and that signifies the beginning of the ritual that um, that they're gonna kill another of the villagers. Hockey stick would probably be cheaper than a pro You know what? I have a hockey stick somewhere, actually. I got a tr I have a hockey stick in my other room. That's a good point. Just get a kid a hockey stick. Yeah, I could just grab my hockey. I didn't even think about it. Did not even think about it. We purging? Thank you, I knew you would. <laughs> well, the goons are. They're slowly exterminating, uh, uh, what is this? Ramia Village. <laughs> Only on Wednesdays. So now we have the Voca Shell. Uh, but yeah, the goons are, are taking advantage of the fact that the townsfolk are totally willing to just give up a sacrifice every so often. Uh, yeah, Old Man used to leave Explorer, love Explorer, but since the goons' fan, he's too dangerous, he's been in deep depression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
what about you? Goons don't attack us as long as we give them the occasional offering. So yeah, this is why uh, they're willing to do it. But of course, long term, they're just going to get exterminated. However, the village population has decreased dramatically, and the goons are kind of counting on that. Alright, so I see you got the Voca Shell from Hada. Let me unlock the door for you. Please hurry. Alright, so now he unlocks the door. And these guys aren't going to let us in. Yep, they just attack you. But... Magic of Transform. We're going to look like one of these guys. What are you waiting for? You may pass. <laughs> what? Are you saying you killed Adol? <laughs> and now we've devolved into a Sunday Snake Control stream. <laughs> Why are we going to Hey, you know what? Could save a life one day. <laughs> or you could just have a cat and she'll just kill the snakes. Well, that sword and armor are adults. Maybe you really did kill them. Now, how would they know? Because I just bought a new sword and armor, but whatever. All right, I'll open the door for you. Go report this to Yatai. You know where Yatai's room is, don't you? It's on the third floor to the right. Side of the shrine. Okay, so maybe I didn't just go... Maybe I need to go more... More to that right side. So now we're back in Solomon's shrine. Let's just... Let's just save here, Solomon Mid. Let's not do that again. I've got the Hawk Idol, perfect. All right, let's... We already wandered around a little bit. We talked to some of these goons already. We don't need to talk to them again. <laughs> let's try... Let's try going up here. Uh, no. Right, if we go into that door, we're just gonna find the lock. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I think that's a room I haven't gone into. Let's try and go in there. Uh, maybe. Let's try and go in that room. I haven't gone in there. Can I get to that? Uh, I don't think I can get to that. Hmm. Let's try and get to that room. That's a room I don't think I've gone inside. Let's try that. Go around this way. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll be able let's try that. Although maybe that's just another roundabout way. You know what? This is another roundabout. Yeah. This is just that. Yeah. All right. It's locked. We can't get in there. It's... Yeah. All right. So that's... So let's try to get Ty's room. Because that was a different room. Let's go this way. My goodness. So yeah. This is the East 2 Mega Dungeon. Yeah. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. 13? I was at 36 before. Somebody must have followed while I was offline. That's pretty awesome. Unless somebody followed during the stream and I didn't notice, but usually it plays an alert when it, uh, oh wait, uh, this is as far as we got. Shit. Is there another way over? Oh, yep, this is the way over. Okay, this is what I was looking for. We're getting there. We are getting there. We'll get there at some point. All right, so let's head this way. Try not to die this time. I'll try not to hit the wrong button. Oh, this goes this way. All right, so we go back, and this brings us back to Solomon Mid. This is another way over here that I wasn't aware of. Ooh, this is another entrance. All right, there's a room here that I don't, that we haven't been in. But still, new places. Oh, uh, wonder what that, wonder where, I wonder where that leads. No, nope, let's not deal with that. Yeah, I'm still trying to get my lay of this whole fucking thing. Now that you mention it, I, have, I still have a Schrodinger's cat situation when it comes to when it comes to lives. I may have a hand in shuffling off the coil. I inadvertently sent a deer in a head on collision path with a cyclist on a dark road. It's, holy shit, Darkstar! Whoa! <laughs> Fuck balls. Oh, and this brings me all the way down down here. God, is there anything? What is going on up here? There's nothing up here. Yeah, I don't see anything here. I don't really... I don't really know where I'm going. Yeah, this is the edge of it. Let's kill that guy. I think I'm back in Solomon Mid, but I think I was supposed to stay over... I think I should have stayed over there by the right side. I don't really know what's up here. Up and now I'm trapped. Okay, time to go back around. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that a lot. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, coming through. One side, assholes. The music is almost overpowering you, right? 
The OST is a fucking banger. Uh, didn't know what happened afterwards. Checked the newspapers for days. A week with no deer related orphans is a pass in my book. Yeah, deer are fucking. I, every so often I visit my mom up in Pennsylvania. Deer are fucking scary, man. They are. They love to commit seppuku by car. They really do. Uh, didn't know what happened afterwards and checked the news. Oh, yeah, I already read that one. <laughs> Alright, so I think this is where it came up, right? Um, yes, that all connects. And this is. Nope, it's not where I want to go. Oh, Alright, so, damn it. He got me. Oh, this probably. This guy looks important. Let's talk to this guy. Alright, there seems to be an intruder in the shrine. Yatai went to the North Conference Room to meet with his advisors on how to deal with the situation. Alright, so that means they should be gone now. Ah, fuck. It took way too much damage there. <laughs> Alright, but okay, so Yatai went to the... That means he's moved from his room, which means his room now should be empty, which means I should be able to go to it. <laughs> the situation... You know, that was... That was, uh... That was a slip of the tongue, but it's actually kind of apt, actually. I think that was like a Freudian kind of slip of like, this really is the situation. Um, during that incident, I had two run, two run in front of my car, two run in front of my car, one behind and one running along the sidewalk where I spotted the cyclist with a quantum took its state a hundred years later. Yeah, right? Oh my god. Uh, alright, let's... Magic of Return. Let's, let's just go to Ramia Village. Let's make sure there's nobody important to talk to. Make sure nobody changed their, uh, their, um, their speech or their lines by the time we went there and back. Because sometimes people here, I do remember having to come back to Ramia Village fairly often to talk to them. I know once I eventually save Sada, I'll have to talk to Hada. And I think I have to come back here. I can't just talk to him with the Voca Shell. Alright, but let's see. Yep, I know. I'm gonna try and save... I'm gonna try and save Maria. I, I will. I promise. Yep. Romeo Village. I don't think you say anything different. Uh, let me know. I promised the girl in my dream that I would help you. Okay, yeah, there's nothing else here. Alright, well, it's fine. We mostly... I just mostly just wanted to... Ah, uh, really? I gotta do the magic of transform every time. It's you again. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I keep leaving and coming back. Imagine that. All right, let's save, because I did get some XP. And now that guy left. So let's see. Let's see if... Nope, wanted to go up in that room. All right, let's go back over here. Maybe this door is open now. Yeah, it's still locked, okay. So now we head back to the upper right, and we see if we can get into that one room. <laughs> and now the future upload of the stream will have pre-show BTS bloopers included, and we're as sneak deer story. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is the snake. This is the snake slash deer story stream. <laughs> oh fuck! I went the wrong way. So we go up. I think we go up, and then all the way right, and then all the way down. I think that's how we. How we do? Nope, we just go up and to the right. So I think this is where we want to go. And now we're in Solomon Mid-East. Jeez, man. This fucking dungeon is a beast. This shrine is huge. We're gonna get so lost. And yet, I have more fun with the shrine getting more lost in here than the fucking mine. Because at least the shrine, for the most part... I'll eventually get the hang of it, I think. I think you guys will get the hang of it, too. Shit. He moved at the last second. Damn it. Uh, I think I might actually want to go in that door. Go in this door first. I think this room's empty. Yeah, this room's empty. Eventually, something's going to be in that room. I just don't remember what. Uh, I put you on some discords, hoping uh, some will slag that follow button, my brother. Oh, why, thank you. I appreciate that. 40% of kids figure out how to put together the silver monkey. Uh, feature of, uh, <laughs> I 
You guys are the best. I love you guys. You're awesome. <laughs> uh, now if Seraph could just figure out where the fuck I'm going. Uh, do I want to go up to... Nope. Okay. It's only down to the right here. And we got a bunch of doors. We got a bunch of doors. Let's see. That leads us to this. Uh, all right, we got our options. That guy almost got me. I don't think there's anything up in here, but we'll look anyway. Right, this is just another way down. Ah, that's the way over here, because you can't go under that. means there should be something important down here. Whoops. Let's see, what's up? Oh, are these fuckers? Okay. Uh, just tried to tap in a young serf's mind from the Clinton administration. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Clinton was president when I was playing this game. Uh, when I was last playing this game, uh, Bush one was uh, was president when I was first playing this game. Uh, but yeah, the last time I played this, Clinton was president. Uh, so you wish to see Yatai. I'm sure you'll want to examine your evidence. He is in a meeting right now. You could find him in the North Conference Room. All right. Ah, now I have the pass. Okay. So now we can get through that one grate. If only I could remember where it is. Oh, okay. We can't shoot that guy. Fine. Whatever. Okay. Now we just have to figure out. <laughs> yeah, the pass. As opposed to the password. We're eventually going to need a password, too. But I think there was a way up from here. Oh, uh, goodness gracious. Where was that grate where the goon was asking us for that shit? All right, so that was, that's the way other, that's the other way down. We need to go this way back. That was up. That was definitely like up and to the right. I have the idle clock on. Why is it not? There we go. I guess I have to be on the same level. That's annoying. Okay, so it homes, but it's not like. It doesn't home as well as I would like. Ah, there you are. Okay. How do I. How do I get down to that guy? Uh, we go over this way. Yep. Transform. The manager now. Why, thank you. I appreciate that. Damn. It's my own fault. I got greedy with it. Let's just save. That way, even if I get myself killed, I can use the magic of transform. No, that guy's up there. Kill. Okay. Let's... Man. Guys have so... Oh, there wasn't anything over there anyway. Thank you. I appreciate the... Good. Okay. Can't go that way. I don't think there's anything else this way. I don't think there's anything else this way. <laughs> the fireball is what you guys did. It explains everything. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so there's nothing else over here that I can tell. Monsters. I think there's nothing else that way either. Yep. Okay. 
Cuddle hears a faint and distant conversation, but he cannot hear what's being said. Do 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 Whisper dreams. Huh. Cuddle hears the demons' voices from inside the room, but wait. Oh, you have to understand their language. Try that again. I've transformed. There we go. <laughs> so it was a magic bullet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did you just fireball that dude from- Oh yeah, I did just fireball that dude from around the corner. It was awesome. Combine earrings with being a demon. As you listen closely, you hear people talking inside. The villagers we captured for sacrificing have escaped. Oh, well that's useful. Right! Oh, right! I totally forgot about the side plot. On top of that, and just from- Oh my god. Holy shit, I just remembered so much about what's about to happen here. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Memory is such an amazing thing. I couldn't have told you five minutes ago jack shit about what's going on in Solomon Shrine. And just with this little blurb, I'm like, oh my god, I think I just remembered like half of what I need to do in the, in the shrine. Uh, but anyway, on top of that, they got away with the master key of the shrine. If Adol gets the that key, he can open all the doors. <laughs> anyway, I placed a high security order to prevent anyone from going through the guarded uh, gates. Only top personnel will be allowed to pass. Uh, allowed to pass through. The secret password will be N8086. Guard it securely. So now we have the password, now we can go through that left gate. Let's discuss how we should cope with this critical situation. Alright, so actually I think... At this point, we're gonna do the magic of return. Yeah, I can't I can't hear him. Ah, I'm sorry I didn't anyway. I just wanted to see if I could get through the door, I cannot. It's actually faster to get through Ramia Village. Actually. Nope, I'm gonna go to Burn Village first. We're gonna go to Burn Village. And I'm gonna use the Rotatree Nut. Yes, let's recoup all my MP. Recover my Rotatree Nut. You're gonna look at a horrible performance review, Astaroth! <laughs> right? This moment is why every cleric I play in DD takes Infernal Abyssal in addition to Celestial. You're right, because sometimes the priest needs to know what the demons and devils are saying. <laughs> there goes another rotary tree nut. Yep. Uh, Alright, but now we'll go to Ramia Village. I mean, I could just go through the rest of Burnland, but for the 20 MP, we'll just we'll just go to Ramia Village real quick. Now we'll go back to the magic fire. It was actually faster than whirling around in fucking Solomon Shrine trying to get to uh, the beginning here. Can you tell me anything new? Okay. Couldn't hurt to look. Transform. It's you again. Yeah, I keep leaving. <laughs> I keep coming back, but I never actually leave. Yeah, fast travel is worth the trip. And in this case, I wasn't really interested in going to the um, village. It really was more a case of come back here so that uh, we could just save ourselves some time. Oh, I just killed two guys with one fireball. <laughs> Fortunately, the magic of fire really doesn't um, do all that much, uh, cost all that much MP. All right, so I think that gate where they were asking us for the password was this way. So we need to find where all those villagers escaped from. Now, I know where they are, but I don't think we have to go straight there. At least I don't think the game's going to make us go straight there. You know the secret password? I do. I can't let you in until you tell me. The password is N86. Yatai himself told me the password. There is no reason to keep the gate down. Let me in. <laughs> alright, alright. Keep your pants on. I'm opening it. By the way, I heard that the villagers to be used for the uh, sacrifice escaped. Yeah, I heard that too. Ah, oh, look at that. How, how convenient that uh, they escaped into the water canal nail here. Why, thank you. I do appreciate that.
Yeah, let's have my idol of hawk. So the idol of hawk is what gives the uh, fireball the homing ability to fireball things around corners and shit. So now I'm over here. You know what? I'm actually gonna save here in case I get fucking lost. That way, if I really get hopelessly lost, I'd be like, fuck it, I'll just come back here. Assuming I don't gain a level or anything in the meantime. Although, if I get hopelessly lost, I'll just use the magic of fucking, uh... I'll just use the magic of return again. Ooh. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> Hello, intruder. I am the great wizard Dallies. We saw him at the end of East 1. Uh, get out of this shrine at once. Um, because it's fast. Why do you keep letting him in here? <laughs> the village just had the door to the place to the better. Uh, yeah, the, the door to the village, it's just, it's just quicker. Uh, rum streaming fabric and I keep your pants. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. If you fail to do so, I will cast my favorite evil curse, and you will be as gruesome as my most ghastly goon. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll get right on that. You are not taking my advice, you fool! You will spend the rest of your life as a deranged demon. Yep, now I'm all right, this side, this side quest here. Let's save that. Maybe I didn't want to go here first. Ah, uh, now we're here in the water canal. But I still have my magic of fire. The door looks different from the other doors. It has a sea dragon engraved on it. Where do I go here? The water canal uh, spans the entirety of Solomon Shrine, which is super awesome. Man. And now we're dealing with monsters that have everything. Uh, the whole fucking health bar. Yep. I forgot how hard these guys are. Thank you. Can't get down there while the water's up yet. Uh, he turned you into whacking, waving, flavor flavorful little tube man. <laughs> uh, Dealey Plastel 1963, that's right. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, now I'm, now I'm hopelessly transformed into a goon. At least for the moment. There's that. I do like that the fact that they um, mix up the music in some of the areas, so it's not like Darm Tower where you just hear the same thing over and over and over and over again. But yeah, because it spans the entirety of Solomon Shrine, the water canal is fucking huge. Man. That bass slaps hard though. You. <laughs> uh, as long as the savings are passed on to us, <laughs> they learn the value of the shuffle playlist function. Seriously. I mean, don't get me wrong. Farm Tower is one of my favorite like themes, pretty much in gaming. But like, when you're going up and down 25 fucking floors of it, it's a little old. All right. So I vaguely. Re I actually do vaguely remember where we're supposed to go, but I do want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I think I just came from this direction, right? Yep, I came from this direction. Uh, right, because that's a dead end, right? Up. You. Look out! A goon got in! <laughs> yeah, they gotta make more MHC one packs. How did he find out we were in here? Push back the door and don't let the demon come in! Wait a second, I'm a man! I was changed into a goon by the wizard! Hmm, I doubt it, but if this is true, come back after you regain your human self. To do so, go to the back left room of this shrine. You will find a room whose wall pattern is different from that of the other rooms. The sacred cup should be concealed in that room. The cup used to belong to the ancient priest Davi, who ruled over the magic of light. 
There we go. I have a friend named Evan who lives in Ramia Village. Take the cup to him. He will tell you how to return to human form. And then we can find the villagers here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 don't tell the whole thing. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, granted, this is convenient in case you missed something. But, um, yeah, go back to your goon cave. Yeah, right? Thanks for bringing a new crawl prison from Rivers. Oh, man, I can't wait. Now, when they say back left room, do they mean the back left room of the shrine or the back left room of the water canal? I think they mean the, the top left room of the shrine. All right, so I will, I will never, ever press this button again. I will never talk to these people again. Oh, my God, why? See, unfortunately, the only way to really heal is to transport out, and Solomon Shrine is just massive. You. Yeah, we need to go to the top left. But pretty much, I think I need to exit the, sh uh, the water canal now. And of course, the water canal is fucking massive. The, I mean, the, like I say, the sewers here, they do span the entirety of it. Back left room, back to the left. <laughs> I know it all tying back to Dealey Plaza. Man, I went the wrong way. Uh, the theme of all these streams. Fuck, I went the wrong way. May as well get some XP here. Let's see, 5100. Eh, we're moving along XP-wise. We're still getting, we're still accumulating XP at a pretty decent clip. Can I go up that way? I don't think I want to go up this way. I did not go up this way. Yeah, that's that's what leads to the very top of this. All right. The only thing that is helpful is that when you... Oops, shit. I did not want to do that. When you go to status, it'll tell you you're like you're in Canal West. It's <laughs> in my autobiography. Uh, all right, let's... Let's not mess around. Yeah, let's use the herb. And I'll just teleport back to Lance Village at some point. Save. Because I don't want to miss out on all that shit. All right. Canal West. Go. At this point, now we need to get out of the water canal. And there are a number of different ways out of the water canal. So this is a door that can't be opened yet. You know, if memory serves correctly, that might be a door we need to access late in the game. But I don't think so. I think we need to drain the water. Yeah, this leads up. Back to the Solomon Shrine area. This is where Dally's turned me into a fucking weird slime thing. We need to go up. Up, up, up. Go that guy. Nope, that's not what we want. Probably gonna get some water in a minute. Nope, nothing in here. I don't think we've been over here. Oops. Damn it. Talk back on. That would be helpful. Now, if memory serves serve correctly. As we go in this general direction, there should be an important structure out this way. Like, really important. But I don't think I can get to it yet. I think I, there's probably going to be a locked door that I need the Master Key for. Let's see. Oh, this is just going to lead. This is just another way into the fucking water canal. Oh, maybe not. Locked. And it's another locked door. This leads... no, it does not lead into the water canal. This just leads down. Yep. 
Yeah, I don't like that they go that they go that fast. Is this the room? Nope. Damn. Oh, that's convenient. Get that. Since it's here. Uh, yeah, let's save. Gotta be. Room in the upper left, huh? We need a cup. Once we get the cup, then we go to Evan's house. So far, so good. We just gotta find this fucking thing. Remember to turn the idol of fuck back on each time. We did just go through that, right? I think. Pretty sure I went through that. Pretty sure that's how I got in here. Oh shit, there's nothing else here. Fuck! Okay, back down this way we go. It's so massive. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, we reached the delirium phase of the stream. <laughs> Where Seraph is so lost, he's just like, fuck. Wait, I don't think I need to go out this way. This thing is right. No. Okay. There's another door. This is what I need. I think it might even be up there is what I need. I think we're going. Yeah, it's locked. And it's so easy for me to like, you know, it, it, the way I need to go, I'm sure it'd be really easy for me to miss the door. So I probably have run by where I need to go. Like, probably have run by it. Oh, we're back here again. Yeah. I have come in here. I know I've come in here. Yeah, I knew I had. Kind of... Bit of curiosity. Because at some point I need to use that magic of light. Fuck, you know what? I'm right. I need to use the magic of light and it makes it appear, I think. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, well, it's not here. I think I need to do that in each one of these rooms, and at some point, then the cup fucking appears. Oh, god damn it. I think. Anyway, if I'm remembering it correctly now. Shit. So I may have even gone into the room that I needed to go to. That's right, they did mention something about the magic of Davi, and that's, yeah, that's right, that's right. They did tell me that. They did tell me. So I just gotta find it. I can't believe they did that much damage to me. Shit. Whoa! The fireball went right through that fucker. Dead. Well, if this gets too bad, I may have to go back to Rance Village here. Or just die. <laughs> Guess I'll die! <laughs> Fuck. Alright. It's alright. I just used that, uh, yep, I just used the... It's fine. Light. Nope, not here. Okay. Let's try this again. This time without dying, preferably. Let's see. Okay. 
We didn't really lose that much XP, although we lost like 800 experience points there, so I must have been wandering around for a good bit. But we're not doing anything differently than we were. There's that locked door. We'll at some point be able to open that door once we get the master key. one of these things, so that helps at least. Okay, let's not send the fire, the, let's not use that to send it right after me here. Here, that's another door that leads out. Nope, that's another door I can't get into. Hawk Idol is active. Where is this fucking door? So this this goes here. Where does this go? Damn it! This goes over here. All right. So these are just these just exit into the same area. Am I just going in a circle? Yeah, I'm going in a circle now. Okay. Yep, I'm going in one gigantic circle. I feel like I need to get up there. Let's see, are there stairs? Be nice if there are stairs. There are stairs. Let's take these stairs. Let's go around. Let's see if I can go in that door. isn't going to lead where I want it to go, though, is it? Nope. Not going to lead where I want it to go. Although I'm not sure if I've used the magic of light in this area yet. Now, this is just... Oh, my God. Oh. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should just start from scratch. Go up to the left again and try, try one more time. Fucking up, man. That's right, I forgot about the magic of light. Kind of annoying. It's a lot of extra running around. Especially when it's hard to find anything in this gigantic fucking shrine. No rotor screen there, so it's a different. This is a different left. Well, that's a good sign. Let's let's try this. Yeah. I think it just is on. I don't think I have to. Yeah, I don't have to actually press the button. Damn, man, where is that stupid thing? Oh, there's the rotor tree nut. The term rat in a maze comes to mind. Yeah. It's it, it's free. Ah, this thing's gonna kill me. You know what? Let us do the magic of return. Oh, we could just So that's the good part. When we finally turn back to normal, we could just go to the runaway hideout. I don't need to find it through the water canal again. So that's the only good news. I just can't find, and everybody here is going to panic because they think I'm a goon. But at least I can uh, recover my hit points here. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's but it's not terrible. <sighs> Actually, I need... Alright, you know what? France Village, let's buy another... Let's buy a herb. Let's buy an herb, rather. I think I should still be able to... Oh, rats, the evils are here. They must have come when I was dozing off. That's actually pretty funny. Like, dude, 
<laughs> uh, I still think I should be able to buy an item here. Hope. Oh, no, nope, I can't. I can't use a fucking shop, so I can't buy a herb, an herb until uh, I'm back to normal. That sucks. Yeah, that, that sucks a lot. All right, well, burn village. Let's at least recover my uh, rota tree nut. It'll be fine. Damn, man. Yep, recover my MP. I would have at least liked to recover my herb, but I guess I can't do that. Shit. Ramia Village. I think I still need to do the magic of transform, but now yeah, we'll see. Get off me, you brute. They all, they all think I'm a, a monster. Fortunately, he still talks to me normally. Well, at least I don't need to do the magic of transform here again. All right, let's try. Let's try again. Head up this way. Up and to the left. Right, that's where this fucking cup is. Right? I think so. God, I hope so. I think I'm just I think I just kept going the wrong way got to be in Solomon West, though, so we just got to make our way back to Solomon West and then find whatever room it's fucking in. Unless it's in this area somewhere, that would really fucking suck. <laughs> that would be some bullshit. Oh, him. actually open these doors. There's a lot of really good shit in those doors. It really pays off to go through backtracking and open all of these. Not that I'm remembering. Not that I probably am going to be able to remember where all, all where they all are. But from what I remember of this game, uh, something I ended up doing a lot of was just starting over from Ramia Village and working my way up. Uh, and I found that to be... Okay, so we're... All right, but we're in Solomon West now. It's gotta be here somewhere. It's, it, it must, it must be here. And it's, it's gotta be the magic of light. It's gotta be. It's it just, I must just not be going to the right way, or to the right places yet. Up. There's an area up. Okay, so maybe this is the problem. I didn't go up enough. So down. Good, got him. established these two areas go to the same area yep it just loops around which is fine good confirmation that we're learning the layout so let's head back up good. I don't want to save here there's another locked door I mean unless I need to get the master key maybe I need to get the master key first you know what? I might need to get the master key first to get in the fucking room. Alright, if that's the case, you know what though? I see a door up there. I see a door over there. And I don't think we were able to get to it, right? Let's try. Let's try doing that. I don't think I can get up there. Yeah, we can't get up there. 
Ay, ay, ay. Well, this looks important at least. So. Here. Yeah, nothing here. Fuck. Alright, maybe we go. Let's see. Alright. So, Talk of Faith mentioned your name to play in the next DD session. He forgot about it and was going to be coming up here that night. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I'm sure Nate won't have any problem rescheduling. I mean, we've been on a hiatus for a while, so that's, uh, that is awesome. I will let you know. I'm pro I will probably be in and I'll confirm later. That sounds sweet. Yeah, that'll be a cool uh, opportunity to check out those games. Maybe I need the master key. You know what? Let's, uh, all right, let's backtrack. Let's go to... Magic of Return. Ramia Village. <laughs> let's let's start from the beginning. Let's go to the first locked room and maybe there won't be in there anymore because the master key might be in there. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe that's what Seraph is missing. Because we're going in these rooms and I don't... I don't see anything. It makes me think it's got to be in one of the locked rooms. Got to be in the locked room. I want to say that one conference room is not very far. Damn, it's still locked. Fuck! <sighs> Maybe a Ty's room is open now? What the fuck am I missing? <laughs> I mean, on one hand, I wanted this to be an organic experience. I'm just... I'm sorry I'm spending so much time just running in circles. But I feel like the game, uh... I feel like the game told me to go in the upper left, and I feel like I did that, but that didn't... That didn't really give me what I was looking for, so I I gotta be I've gotta be missing that master key, right? How long have we been playing? We've been playing three hours, Jesus. So let me try a little bit longer, and if this doesn't, what is that? Oh, that's just the order. That's just the edge of the banister. Let's try this real quick. If not, I'll uh. May just have to call this. <laughs> I wish I'd gotten further. Although we got to Solomon Shrine. I mean, if you'd told me before I started the stream tonight that we got to Solomon Shrine, that's actually pretty impressive progress. I just wish I'd been able to do more uh, while here. But we did get to the water canal. We found where the villagers are. So that's good. We know where they are. I just wish I could find this stupid cup. Yeah, fucking, that's that's not the room we were looking for, though. I don't think we ever found that that door. But the conference room that the uh, goons were having a conference in, when they're done with their conference, and I know, I know I remember this, uh, when they do finish their conference, you can, uh... What is this? Is there something up here? Ooh, uh, that's my, this might be what I'm looking for. Uh, when they are finished with their conference, they do eventually abandon that room. Oh my god, there are just so many ways to get around. It's just so easy to get lost here. Yeah, there was, there, was it just me or was there nothing else to do up in here, right? Granted, I'm not, I'm in the upper right portion of the shrine and not the upper left. There is nothing... Nothing here, we just go kind of in this circle. Oh, okay, well, treasure chest. The piece of mind ring. I'm sure I'm gonna eventually need that. What the fuck is that? Wear this ring to relax. Okay. Well, it's good that we came here and got it. Because we, we need that anyway. You know what? <laughs> it's it's 10 o'clock. I'm I'm kind of tired. I would like to. Well, you know what? Let me look. 
Let me look for that conference room another couple of minutes. Let me just look for another couple of minutes. Because if we could find what's in that conference room, that would at least make me feel, yeah, there's nothing else in there. But that, that was what was in, in that complex. They hid the piece of mind ring in there. And then that leads back up that way, right? And that's a dead end right about now. Yep, good. There. Okay. So we went up that way. Got the password. Uh, man, this is brutal. And what's up this way? Just for my amusement? Nope. Here's maybe it was near the beginning. I don't, I don't know. I think we're gonna do magic of return. Burn village. I'll go back to Ramia village. That'll be a good starting point for the next stream, and maybe. Maybe I'll have some better luck figuring out where the fuck that cup is. Um, man, got a little held up here. We leveled up at least, so it wasn't that big of a deal. We did, up until the last half hour, we were productive. We just got stuck with these villagers not believing that I'm not a monster. And unfortunately, we do need to get back to normal by the time we go back there, and of course, the plot's going to thicken by the time we go back there. But, um, anyway, we'll go back to Ramia Village. Although I suppose I could just go to the runaway hideout. But, it's... You know what, let's just go up here. Yeah, yeah. You're fine. <laughs> At least I don't have to do the magic of transform. They just let me in this time. This is a good place to save. Let's see if we can raid out to anybody. Generally speaking, not bad. Not bad. Um, kind of annoying to get stuck in a rut in that last segment there, but what can you do? Uh, so let's let's whirl, let's wrap this up. Let's see if anybody's on. Do we raid out to anybody, or am I tired? I am. I am pretty beat. Oh wow, nobody's online. <laughs> nobody. Nobody in my. <laughs> <laughs> by follow chances online so we could raid somebody randomly but you know what i think we're just going to shut this down so um for anybody that didn't get the uh news uh earlier my uh my graphics card in my computer is dying so um i might stream me uh prepping its replacement maybe probably not uh but in the event that you see uh see any kind of like random just chatting stream that's me just deciding to hop on and do that uh Aussie Boy 003, if you want help out, I'm I'm not sure what that means, Ghosty. Uh, is Aussie Boy Triple Three a, a streamer or uh, a channel? Nice. Um. Cool. No, that's that's pretty cool. Um. So yeah, no, not my, my first rodeo with uh, she's live now. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, if you got a recommendation, fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it! <laughs> Fuck it! We'll do it live! <laughs> Let's see uh, if I could type. <laughs> Rafe! Raid! <laughs> Aussie Boy 003. We'll do that. It's all about the networking. That's right! Hell yeah! Um, actually, yeah, we'll do the command. And, uh, well, no, if I do the command, I think it, it gets a little wonky. Let's, let's do it through the browser. Uh, and while I set this up, I'll do the obligatory. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to give me a follow on Twitch. Sl uh, hit like, subscribe, the whole first internet. <laughs> I probably should do that more often, but, uh, with that, but that's why I have a bot set up for that. Uh, I actually have been thinking about modifying my bot. Uh, to give it like a name, but I don't know if I want to go with like Resplendent Bot or Robo Seraph or um, 
I kind of like Robo Seraph, but that's not a typical uh, <laughs> in his YouTube, y'all. That's right. Uh, so let's see. Pick a live channel to build to raid. Let's go with OC Boy 003. Oh, and yep. Perfect. More Sea of Thieves. Excellent. <laughs> Marvelous. So uh, we're just going to blame it on you, uh, Ghosty, when they're like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> but we're going to have a good time. But in any event, um, yeah, for Jara and them. Cool. Cool. Yeah, this will be fun. I was uh, watching uh, Kara stream uh, Steve Thieves. It looks like a fun time. Uh, oh, that's what you meant, Kara. Hello, cat and perfect. Cleo woke up at just the right time. So I can uh, I can entertain my little beast cat. And I will see you guys all approximately later. I don't know if I'm going to stream on Tuesday or not, but at the moment, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm still going to stream on Tuesday night because once my card comes in on Wednesday, God only knows how long it'll take me to get my computer up and running again. Uh, so I will see you all Tuesday night. Oh, good night, Cleo. Everybody loves Cleo. And I will uh, see you guys uh, later. But um, I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, I think that's it. This is Resplendent Seraph wishing everybody a wonderful week. Thank you for coming uh, out and spending your Sunday with me. I had a great time as always. And I will see you guys on the next one. Ciao.